welcome back to another episode of the Whiskey Diaries. My name is Martin Lang and we're here at Death and Tax. Today we're going to talk about a very special whiskey, completely discontinued, that is called the Yoshi 15 year old. We have done a little, a few videos from Yoshi already, but just to give you a little bit of background, Yoshi Distillery was created in the 1936 by Masaka, Masataka Taketsuru. Uh, the gentleman actually did a quick stint, actually not a quick one, it was actually quite a long uh, apprenticeship in Scotland uh, around the 1920s. Um, he basically worked under Longbourn and Hazelbourn in Campbellton and Longbourn in Speyside, obviously. Uh, the gentleman after that married a Scottish girl called Rita and they moved to Japan and they started a distillery in the Yoshi province, uh, sorry, in the province of uh, um, Hokkaido uh, in, the, in the town of Yoshi. Now the distillery is basically on the west coast and it's very close to the ocean. Uh, it has a lot of, uh, it produces a lot of apple uh, around the distillery as well. So that's why in the beginning of the Yoshi distillery between 1936 and the first bottling of Yoshi, they actually produce a lot of apple brandy. When you actually go to the distillery, which I've been to, which absolutely stunning distillery, by the way, uh, they, they still give you uh, apple cider. They still have the apple cider. They still have apple brandy on the bottle and they're actually really really good products now yoshi in itself um the reason why it's so popular and suddenly they stopped doing this uh, release is because in around 19, in 19 in tw sorry in 2014 there was a little a tv show uh in japan that they basically it's called like it basically it's a soap opera of 15 minutes long that they do it in the morning and now this soap opera actually was about the relationship between Masataka Taketsuru and Rita and they explained the love affair and everything that happened and how it was so hard back then because this was uh, during the First World War and Second World War as well. So Scotland and uh, Scotland p being part of the allies and Japan being about uh, the enemies, obviously there was a little bit of a kudos and also um, the same thing that uh, Taketsuro being Japanese, he married a white girl, and so on and so on. So it was actually quite frowned upon at the time. But they started the distillery themselves. So this uh, this soap opera uh, became so so popular that by 2015, all ages for all Yoshi were gone. So the 10, the 12, the 15, the 21, and the 25, even the 30-year-old, all of them. To give you an idea, by 2015, through the distillery, one million people already went through it. Uh, that's how popular the show became. So this affected the global market massively because uh, in Australia, th this bottle in particular, the, the, the 15-year-old, I remember buying it for like $120 back then. This bottle now goes for 1000 if you can find it. Um, so it's actually quite impressive what, what, what that did. And that's why uh, Nika in eventually completely erase all age statements and now they only release non-age statements you cannot they don't have in the core range they don't have any more age statements anymore uh, they just can't keep up with the demand and I've been to the distillery a few times and like not even at the distillery you can find anything uh, this one in particular got a, uh, got this uh, bottled at 45% ABV Yoshi is very famous for the stills that they have is the only distillery in the world that the stills are actually put on a pedestal, not on a pedestal, but in an in a infrastructure of basically just concrete. So they are above ground. Under, under that is they fire the stills with coal. Now, nowadays, all stills, most stills in the world are fired by gas and they have like coils that fire up so they can control the fire. Uh, having a coal fire on the other hand is very uh, inconsistent and different parts of the still will light up at different times. So it's about the distillery and the master distillery to actually predict where the fire is going to be and actually make sure that the still actually doesn't burn. Uh, so it produces a very particular type of whiskey. This is a smoky type of whiskey as well because they use a, a blend between malts and one of the malt, they have three types of malt that is just not, not, malt, not pitted. Uh, medium pitted and highly pitted. So I'm guessing they don't say I haven't been able to find out uh, It's between 5 ppm and 7 ppm, which is not a lot, but the smoke still carries through So Yoshi in itself is quite smoky and also it's a mix between American oak and sherry cask now the sherry comes quite strong in this whiskey compared to the non statement and, and that's a sad thing for me because as if you have seen my previous I have a I really love sherry casks. Uh, so the, the other Norwich Statements and the other Yoshi and Miyaiku, they have a it's, a, it's a lot more lighter whiskey and they don't have such a sherry presence. Now, it's a, as I said, it's a mix between sherry cask and American oak. 
and you can see that in the collar. There it goes, it's a bottle there. And then you can see the color there that is actually has a lot darker color for a 15 year old. Like if you compare this to Glenfiddich for instance, 15 year old or any other sort of normal American or 15 year old, the color is quite darker as well. Yeah, that's beautiful. Uh, I love the characteristics of Yoji. Uh, it's one of my favorite whiskies. Uh, it's just because of that really subtle smoke, but at the same time, it's like cream tea and like apples and pears. It's like really fruity and really soft, but it has a little bit more like punch than, than, than other Japanese whiskies. Yeah, and then, wow, that's really, really, really good whiskey. Definitely collectors, obviously, if you can find it, which is really, really hard to find, and you can afford it, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, for a 15-year-old, paying at over $1,000 is, obviously, sometimes it doesn't uh, justify it, but it's still delicious, delicious whiskey. Hopefully, you enjoy it. Slanjaba.